Welcome back. Tonight's topic it might make you a little itchy or squirmy, but I promise you we'll give you some relief from some of those pesky bug bites. Making a house call tonight, Dr. Carla Smith of the Traverse Area Pediatric and Adolescent Clinic. Welcome back. Thank you. Thanks Good to see you. I, I, my Facebook friends know I, had, I thought I had a spider bite the other mm -hmm. week. Uh, it went away. So um, we're talking about bug bites. First off, prevention. That's above all what we should think about, right? Right. I mean, everybody's outside, hopefully, at this time of year, enjoying mm -hmm. the good weather. There are lots of things you can do to keep bug bites from ever starting. Um, obviously, using insect repellent is important. Mm -hmm. We recommend that parents use insect repellent containing 10% DEET or less. 10% DEET or less, okay. Okay. Other things that can help, um, particularly if you're concerned about um, bees, those kinds of stings, um, not wearing perfumes outside that will att attract bees or other, or other insects. Um, not wearing bright flowery Yeah, that clothing. tricks the bees, huh? That's it does, funny, it but it's, it's a simple true. thing, but mm -hmm. yeah, don't wear those. Now, what about reactions? I know a lot of parents have EpiPens handy. Some parents do. Some parents. So there are two basic classes of reactions. You can have a local reaction that's just confined to the area of the bite or the area close, you know, within a few inches within, of the bite. Okay. EpiPens really are not indicated for that kind of reaction, even if it seems really big or lasts a long time. Really? The other kind of reaction is a systemic reaction that may involve flushing through the whole body or um, hives, breathing problems, itchy mouth, um, facial swelling, vomiting. Those kinds of symptoms um, require a call to the doctor. Require. Okay, so when, when, you, when you start seeing those in your child or yourself, that's when you say, hey, no, we can't mess and, around and that, with this. And that's when you get advice that day. And what about mosquito bites? I know that a lot of times we all get mosquito bites, but sometimes mm -hmm. The kids react differently to them. There's certainly a class of kids who um, tend to have bigger local reactions to mosquito bites. Mm -hmm. um, there are things in addition to using insect repellent that parents can do um, for those kids that seem to have more of a, a localized allergic reaction. And, and rather than giving specific drug information here, I'd really um, suggest to those parents if they're concerned that they not jump to the EpiPen idea, but that they call their physician and ask what they might want to do during the season when bugs are around. So basically you're saying, usually if it's just like a little itchy bite, okay, but if, it, if you're getting more reaction than throat, so you said, let's see, itchy throat? Mm -hmm. Itchy throat, itchy mouth, trouble breathing, trouble swallowing, or hives um, or rash other places than where the bite occurred. Call the doctor. Yes. All right, well thank you so much, Dr. Smith. Thank you.